said that uh, they were getting sucked up sometimes in the play action and some of those slants. Is that mm -hmm. a, a, one of those cases where they're just a little too aggressive? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, the, the bottom line is we want to stop the run first and foremost. And, uh, you know, they, they that's just a, kind of a learning thing and a see it thing. I think we're going to get better at that. But, yeah, they did. They got sucked up a little bit and, uh, you know, in trying to stop the run. And, uh, you know, we, we just we got to work on it and, and get a better feel. You talk about the impact uh, of special teams and how it helped turn that thing around Saturday. Yeah, I mean, special teams is a huge facet, uh, you know, every game, and we want to always make an impact. You know, our teams, uh, we talk about attacking and putting the opponent on their heels in, 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 all, in all special teams categories. Um, you know, so I think we were able to have an impact, and it's funny because, you know, to everyone else, it's like, oh, what a tremendous game. And to me, it's like we left so much out there. You know, we can get a lot more, you know, a lot better and make more impact plays on teams. And, uh, you know, we're working at that and working to build off of the game. Um, to, to, to do some more stuff. But, yeah, we, uh, we felt good and, and felt that we were able to contribute. That's all we want to do, you know, get out there. And if the team needs us big-time special teams play, we want to be able to make it and, uh, and, and, and switch the momentum. Just in the, the punt game, the amount of kicks you guys are affecting, are you doing something different schematically, or is it just having the right guys in the right places? Um, you know, it, it's a lot of different things, right? You know, what I'm going to say is that, you know, the kids are bought in. They're going hard. They're understanding it. Um, they love it. They take pride in it. Um, you know, and, and we're just we're doing whatever we see to, to try to affect it. Um, you know, we got a weapon back there, so it's it's kind of fun calling that game because you kind of can can do some different things and, and, and try to figure out what they're trying to do. Um, and then you know they, these guys are really bought into it. You know, and it's 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 cool. It's so fun. your build being in the back gives you more options with the other ten guys. In the field, or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know. It's just it's a matter of are they coming with the block? Are they coming with the hold up? Are they coming with a block and a hold up? Are they setting a wall? You know, it's it's just different things, different areas of the field. What we're able to do, you know, he, he makes us more dynamic as any and they, you know returner does. That's that's really good. He said he was relieved after taking one into the end zone. Can you talk about his? Uh, desire to score on all of those kind of plays? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, Jabril always wants to score every time he touches the ball. But, you know, I, I've been kind of busting him, you know, even throughout last year about getting in the end zone. Um, you know, in high school, he was he, he was able to get in the end zone a few times on returns, as, as you guys probably know. Um, so I've been kind of on him, you know, so I think I've tried to add a little more pressure because, you know, Jabril, when he has pressure on him, he's better. So kind of uh, – he came off the sideline. He goes, "Oh my God, finally!" You know, and I said, "I knew it was coming soon." So now, uh, now hopefully he can. Uh, he has that pressure relieved, and he's going to be able to uh, to do uh, to do some more on the return. So oh, where's? Do you expect people to just stop kicking it at this point? I mean, um, yeah, I mean, it? shoot, it, it, if they do that, then the field position game is going to is going to be pretty incredible. You know, um, so you know, it's it's. It's fine. And you kick off returns. I mean, we only have two right now, and they're giving us the ball on the 35, 40 yard line. So if a team's willing to do that, you know, we'll take it. You know, we'll try to make some adjustments, and you know, shoot, if they just don't pump to them at all, maybe we'll just put 11 up there and uh, and come at them. You know, so yeah, it, it, they got to make a decision. Um, I don't think teams can just stop kicking it to them because they're just going to give up too much field position. This might be out of line in the season, but have you talked to him about his future beyond this year? Um, have I mean, I talk to Jabril about everything, yeah. um, you know, but uh, that's, I mean, that's kind of between us. Mm -hmm. On special teams, what do you focus on certain units, or do you just work on all the all the different units across the board with Jay? Uh, so we work on all of them. You know, it gets just special teams. Uh, you know, is a team. You know, and I think we've gotten the kids to understand that. You know, we understand it where it's like everyone has to contribute. It's not Jabril Peppers returning a punt if no one is blocking for him, right? It's not you know a pump block. You know, you got one guy blocking a punt. You got six other guys that have to you know do what they're supposed to do at that same pump block in order to block that punt. So you know, I think as a team, we're a complete team on special teams. We try to focus, and then as a coaching staff. You know, we, we do that, you know, uh, work hand in hand with Jay constantly. You know, Mike Zordich, you know, help, really helps out in, in that regard. You know, Tyrone Wheatley contributes, you know, Brian Smith. You know, we just, we, we, we are a team and we, we bounce ideas off of each other and, and try to, you know, build with, with each other there. How did Ben grade out on Saturday and how's he graded out in three games? Has he been pretty steady? Ben is, uh, Ben's just an old school tough guy. I mean, that's it. You know, he comes to play every practice, every day. He's graded out great. He's playing really good football there. Has a lot on his plate in his system. Um, you know, Coach Brown really, you know, is with him constantly and in, 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 in trying to understand the system and, and the big picture things, and he's been tremendous. What kind of leader is Ben getting in the unit? 
Um, he is the leader. You know, he takes charge. Um, he makes the calls. He, uh, you know, he, he leads by example. You know, where he comes out to, to practice every single day, and you know, kind of takes stronghold on on whatever we're installing or whatever we're doing. You know, he's a, he's a tremendous leader. To make your life a little easier. Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. You're not rotating too much with your guys there. Is that just a function of the, those are the ones you is it a trust thing or a performance um, thing or? No, it's not. It's not a trust thing. I think you know those are guys who are in the starting position, and um, you know I think as the other guys you know continue to get better, and and as the starters need you know need more of a spell, you know you'll see some more rotating and stuff. But you know right now we're able to roll with those guys that are the starters, and you know and it, it allows the young guys to get better too. So There's a gap though benefit. between the starters and the guys that are trying to. I mean, the best way to look at it is there's a three-year gap of when they were in right. college or not, you know. So, yeah, there has to be a gap. If there's not, you know, there's something going on. So, you know, just the maturity of the guys that are there, you know, helps. And, you know, and, and it, it gives something for those young guys to, to look up to. Are you interested to get Noah back and you anticipate that happening soon? Yeah, I hope so. You know, he's working through it. He's, he's a tough kid. He, he really helps on teams, you know, incredibly and, um, and, and as, on defense as well. So he worked his butt off in the spring and through camp, and he deserves to be out there, and hopefully we get him back soon. Was there anything you picked up on video uh, uh, as far as Kenny and the field goal misses? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, just uh, there, there was some things. You know, we just we got to get better overall in our in our timing. Um, you know, in terms of the snap, Holder was really good. You know, Kenny might have been rushing it a little bit. Um, we felt so. You know, we got to calm him down. He's a he's a veteran. He's mature. He's going to get that fixed. Um, you know, it's it's extremely important to all those guys and the you know the specialist unit. So. You know, he's been working. He's been working at it. Mike McCray has made a number of big plays for you. Talk about what you've gotten from him this season. Yeah, I mean, Mike is is, is just you know he's like a, an old vet in the, in terms of you know he lost you know a couple of years due to injuries and you know that matures somebody. You know that that just it shows you what you know how important it is to when you step on the field. You know because you can lose it and and that's what he brings. You know he's just happy to be out there, right? And and he's gonna work his butt off to be as good as he can because. You know, because he saw what it was to stand on the sideline. He doesn't want that, you know. And uh, so he's been really good for us and playing really well and, you know, and, and just really taking the bulls by the horn at the will spot. Don said it's almost criminal how you guys are using peppers. Does he feed, does, does Jabril feed off of that? Can he do uh, much more? So, you know, I've, I know Jabril really well, and uh, I keep telling these guys, use him more. Come on, man. He wants it. That, that's, that's his thing. You know, give him more. Give him more because he's going to study it. You know, he's going to spend the time. He's going to come in. He's going to embrace any role that we give him. You know, we could put him at center. You know, on the offensive line, and he would not say, "I'm playing center." He would say, "All right, well, got to teach me the blocks." You know, that's just he, he thrives off of it. You know, um, of course, we got to be smart with the different positions and how much. You know, you can't play. You know, you can't be a three-way player and play every snap in a game. But you know, Jabril thrives off of, off of doing that and doing more. He's such a, a smart football player. But the most important thing, he loves the game so much that he wants to learn everything. Would he want to play every single if he could? Uh, yeah, if he could, he would. If we let him, he probably would, but uh, I don't think that's feasible. Is it personally rewarding for you at all, the success that he and Rashawn have had? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's it's something where, you know, I, I love seeing. I mean, I've known those guys, you know, for a long time, so um, it, it's it, it's definitely personal rewarding, but it is any kid that I coach, you know. It's like you, you get to know and, and, and love these guys and, and, and you know, and, and their work ethic and who they are. Um, so, you know, but it definitely is, you know, it, I, I, I love seeing success about that. Did you ever imagine them on the same college defense back in the house? No, it's cool. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. I like seeing them. They've been on a couple plays where they've been on both yeah. been on that play, and it, it's kind of cool to see. You know, um, I, I wouldn't imagine them. You know, they're both phenomenal football players and they have been in the same place. It's really cool. In the special teams room, I mean, now that the, the success you've had blocking kicks the last couple games, are they raising the bar even higher? Like, are they setting personal you know, uh, team, you know, positions? Yeah, I think that's a great question. I think it, the, the important thing is to understand that, you know, the, the past game is something to build off of, whether you win or lose. It's not something to blow your head up about, right? So we have to, we talk to them about, you know, making sure, you know, positive discontent. Right? You know, you had a great game, you did some good things, but where are the, the little things that we need to build and where do we get better? So, um, you know, we keep them humble, but we build off of, you know, what we've done, you know, positive and negative. Um, you know, so that's, that's something that, you know, they, they might be getting a little, little more, uh, you know, 
aggressive in, okay, what's the block? What are we doing? What, you know, and, and, but that's good. That's, that's them bought in. Um, but we also got to keep them grounded and understand that, you know, one good game and then you have a bad game, you forget about that good game. You know, so I think we, we do a good job of putting the past in the past and moving on and just building off of it. All right, we're going to get Coach Parker moving and get Coach Drevno in here.